So Goli and I are saddled up, ready to go. I decided to braid all of his mane and forelock so he can see better and so I'm not struggling with all the hair when I'm trying to go into a one ring stop, that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to mount and then we're going to warm up a bit. Can I have your nose right here? Good boy. Warm up. First time riding to the trail on the road. Good boy. We rode home a little bit on the road one time. Hoping the dogs don't come after us. Neighbors have dogs down here. This is big boy stuff. Riding all the way from the barn to the trail. This is big boy stuff. And remember, this guy's only six years old. He's only six, and this is his third trail ride. <clears throat> so we've made great progress, but I don't take anything for granted. Not one thing. <laughs> Try to be alert and steady, because I am riding without an experienced buddy horse. Paco typically would have been ridden by an apprentice or an assistant girlfriend of mine, but I don't have that luxury. Paco's gotten really old and he can't be that guy anymore. Come on. Come on. So, we're having to do this solo, but we're doing great. Good job. Keep going, honey. Keep going. You got it. You got it. There you go. There you go. You recognize where you are now? Yeah. Yeah, you know where we are. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, get the gas out. Okay. Good job. He's doing good. Good job. Good job. That a boy. That a boy. Good boy. Loving up on him. Good boy. He's checking in with me. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Looks like uh, Jason's come through here, mowed it a little bit more. So nice. Oh yeah, he's he's uh, coming in a lot of the uh, lot of the brush. What? Got a bug to do? Do you want to stop? Oh, you, you need to stop. You got a bug or something? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. There you go. So you want to stop? Oh, he's pooping. So if your horse has got an itch, you know, they're banging their head, wanting to get a bug or something, stop, respect, and honor that. And when there's poops, honor that. He's getting his poops out. He's nervous. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. No, no. We're going to go now. Keep going. Something he hasn't learned yet about knees and trees. So he's going to have to learn about that on the narrower trails. Very good. So we're going to go on a trail he's never been on. When we go up and around the corner, I'm going to take a left and see where that takes us. We'll see. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Now, let's go to the left walk and see what that's like. And see what this is like. Oh, he is so interested. This is a trail we have oh, never been on. Because he's so tall, this is going to be maybe a little hard for me to get around. Oof. Look at that hill. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. See, it's important to teach those side paths. So I'm going to keep him off of my... There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. That a boy. Excellent. Okay, so that was interesting because he has had to, um, you know, I've taught him to come off my leg cues. So that's the importance of leg cues is keeping the horse from rubbing your knee into a tree. And so those leg cues are real important for your horse to understand. And he was really good and responsive. So 
sorry about all the tree branches. He was very responsive to my leg cues to keep from banging my knee into a tree. Walk, walk, walk. So I'm very proud of him. Very, very proud of him for doing that. Easy boy. So this is all very new to us. I'm so proud of you. So it all comes together. You see how riding in the arena, teaching side pass, half pass, yielding, hind and fore, it all translates on the trail. Keeping your horse from rubbing your legs on the tree, banging your knees, all of that. It's so important. It just translates to a safer ride on the trail. That's what it's all about. And all this desensitizing that we've done with the branches rubbing on him now. He's good with that. Excellent. He's a little pooped now. A little pooped. Mm -hmm. Hey, you gotta listen to me, darling. There you go. Okay, Doodle. We're gonna go back. I already know where we are. We're gonna go back. That a boy. That a boy. Good job, handsome. Oh, I'm so happy for you and me. You've done a wonderful job. Good job you're doing. So we're going to be navigating some serious downhills now to get back home. Good boy. Yeah, so the trail that we normally would take is gone. That's gone. So we'll have to figure out our way home from this. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, buddy. Walk. Walk, darling. I can't, I can't navigate if you're running. Go, go, go. That's downhill. Oh, shit. Are you going to be able to do that? Ho, ho, ho. Here, let's turn around. Oh, come on. way. Let's see what's over here. I think this is a dead end. I don't know. Let's see. The trail used to be over here. Maybe this is the old trail. I think so. Yeah, this is the old trail. Okay. Yes, this is... Oh, I, that might be even more steep, though. I think this is our usual way. Let's check it out. Okay. Walk. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is all right. This is better than that other one. Okay, it's pretty steep and slippery. So, oh, walk, 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 walk. That a boy, that a boy, that a boy, that a boy. That a boy. Well, never panic there. I think we're all right. Walk, walk, walk. Let's go this way. I'm hoping this will get us out of here. I'm not sure. Let's try. <laughs> Good boy, you did a good job. I got a little scared and he felt that. Oh, yeah, I know where we are. Okay, we are on our way out. Oh, that was awesome. That was an awesome ride. Yeah. All right, I think we can get home this way. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. Good boy, boy. That was slippery and I was a little worried there, but he pulled it off, he did a good job. Oh, good job, good boy. That was fabulous. And now we're back down to the log. Oh, that was great. That was a much better hill. It wasn't so steep. Yeah, we're almost home, darling.